So the patient you're going to see today uh, came in for regular routine diabetic foot care and she had a complaint about pain at the tip of a toe that we had fused. We fused it into a straight position about mm, a little over 10 years ago and suddenly it's starting to hurt. You'll hear her say that it looks like it's changing position and I don't think it is. I think it looks pretty straight. Um, but. We'll talk about what may be causing the pain and what we're gonna do about it. So enjoy the video. Okay. So on the tip of this toe, there's a little corn. Yeah. Now could the screw that goes from here all the way through, could that be backing out? we can take an x-ray and see. Okay. And that would be something very simple we could do right here in the office, just numb the toe, make a little incision right over the screw head and back it out. Oh, okay. If that's the problem. Okay. So when we're done, let's get an x-ray. Okay. And we'll see. It's painful yeah. for me to mention. I mean, I figured I'd better mention it because yeah. I'm no, thinking no. about it yeah. to my son. Who doesn't listen? Yeah. Anyway. I don't have a squeaky clippers today, but my shoes are squeaking. Squeaky shoes. I fell three weeks ago and hurt my left hip. I could not walk for two weeks. I had to walk with two canes. Oh no. I'm down to one cane. What, uh, what made you I fall? A, I fell, I think, in the night. Like I was disoriented and when I sat down, I fell down. Oh. And so it was inner pain in the left leg. Did you go have it x-rayed? No. I didn't because I was scared of getting something or them keeping me. So you maybe paralyzed. broke your hip, but you didn't go in to have an x-ray done no, because you were afraid I've, of COVID. Yes. Okay. You're, you know, you're not alone. I, um, I it, think that's probably one of the problems why so many people have died. They're, they're all put together crammed into the hospitals and... See, I don't agree with that because everybody on a COVID ward is on an, in a negative pressure room so the air doesn't circulate from room to room mm. um, for exactly yeah, that reason. That. Yeah. So with the negative air pressure rooms, nobody, you know, the same air is not circulate, circulating um, from patient to patient. Oh, okay. So people aren't catching COVID in the hospitals. Some, you know, the healthcare workers maybe, but patients are not. And um, as long as everybody's got their mask on, you're safe to go. Now, are you still having pain in that hip? Uh, a little bit, but it seems like it's getting better. So okay. that's, so, but yeah. I have this in my family. My mother broke both her hips. My her, her wait a minute. Her mother didn't, but her grandma did. My grandma's grandma. Well, you know, they kind of question sometimes whether you fall and break your hip or whether your hip breaks and then you fall. Yeah. You know, and so if osteoporosis runs in the family, that would explain that. Well, it was diagnosed as that because they didn't do a full hip. They did a partial hip replacement. So she was getting off a bus coming back from gambling and she fell in a hole, a mm. pothole, and twisted her ankle. And her hip broke wow. when she fell down. So. All right, well, I'm not seeing any hardware peeking through. Okay. But that doesn't mean that it may not be right under the skin there. So when we're done here, we'll get an x-ray and we'll 
Okay. So I, it it looks like it's differently shaped a little bit too, to me, because mm -hmm. I see it all the time. But. Right. Okay, so I'll start lotion on just yet on that right foot because well I can um, I'm gonna put a little wire marker right over that so mm -hmm. we can see exactly where that little core of that little corn is and so that will tell us if it's um, if that's what's causing it mm -hmm. or not Now that one is starting to go under. That one? <laughs> yeah. I know, but if it isn't a problem, we're just going to No, so. No, that one's not. Okay, so I will be right back. All right, so we have just a little teeny wire here. We're just going to put it right over where that corn is. Yep. And then um, we'll put your socks on and take an x-ray. Oh. I'll help you with your socks. So as you can see, right where we put the little wire marker is where the screw head is starting to back out and is pushing against the skin from the underside. Once the patient saw these x-rays with me and we looked at them and discussed them and it was clear that that screw head is pushing out against the skin from the inside, she decided that she wants to go ahead and have the surgery. So. We just need to uh, get a hold of the proper screwdriver and we'll schedule it and I'm sure she's going to let us video it for you. So uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.